In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a restaurant food ordering website in WordPress. And this is how our website will look like after we have finished creating it. So if I go to the menu page of my website, you see I have all my dishes in here. And I can choose based on the category that I want. So if I go to breakfast, I see all breakfast fufu to take me to that section plantain and beans and finally choose that I can also search the particular food that I want you see that and I'll go ahead and add it to my cart so if I want to order fufu I choose add and I'll have this pop up where I can add my special notes as well as my quantity so I want to increase the quantity to 2 and the special notes, I go ahead and enter I need plenty soup then I click on add to cart and it is adding up right here I can continue and this will take me to the checkout page from here I can confirm if I want a pickup or a delivery service I'm going to do a pickup myself and in here I go ahead and enter my details I've entered my details and I go ahead and click on place order thank you your order is being received as an administrator I will receive an email with regards to this order and the client will also receive an email with regards to their order so if you want to make a restaurant food ordering website in WordPress keep watching Hello guys, this is Sonic here at Tico Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. Now to make our food ordering system, we are going to divide this tutorial into two parts. The first part will be how to create this website. And the second part will be how we can add our food ordering system. And to make this tutorial short, I've already covered how to make this website in a separate video. I'll link it up in the description down below and also at the card above. So if you want a complete system, please do check out the video. So to go into the second part, we are going to install two plugins. And to do that, I head over to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new, and the search plugins are set for WooCommerce. I have WooCommerce here. This is a plugin we are going to use in order to add our dishes. I click on install now it is installed but I will add it is installed but I will activate it now I will install the second plugin so I search for food store and this is the plugin I'm going to install food store online food delivery and pickup by WP scripts I go ahead and click on install now this is a plugin we are going to use for our food delivery system it is installed now i go to install plugins and i'm going to go ahead and activate the two plugins so i select full store and woocommerce then i go over to bulk actions activate apply plugins activated successfully the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and set up full store so i click on full store from here i click on skip and this will take me to the general settings under general settings, there's a short code you can use to list your food items. I will show you how we can add this short code to our menu page later on in this tutorial. Also, there's a page which is already created after installing Full Store, where this code is already embedded for you. But we are not going to be using that page in this tutorial. I will show you how we can add this short code to our own page. You can enable catalog mode for your restaurant. With this, your clients will not be able to add your dishes to cart. If there are categories you want to exclude from your main categories, you can go ahead and list them up. But we are not going to exclude any categories. You can also enable special instructions so that your customers will add to notes for each item they want to order. Next is purchase button redirect. Why do you want to redirect your customers after clicking on the purchase button? So you have two options. You can redirect them to the cart or the checkout page. Whichever way you want, I'll leave it as the default for now. Next is services. And the services there are three options that is general pickup service and delivery service we'll look at all these three first of all you need to make sure enable pickups that delivery service is enabled as well as enable checkout service fields 
and I'll leave the default service as pickup. The next option I'm going to talk about is store slash service start time. What time do you start your food delivery service? You can set whatever time you want from here. I'll keep mine at 6.30 a.m. because I have customers who want to take their deliveries around 6.30. Next is store closing time. What time do I close? I'll choose 5 p.m. Next is food preparation time. How many minutes will it take for me to prepare a particular dish when an order is being placed? I'll leave it as 15 minutes or maybe I'll say 30. Whichever way, this depends upon your restaurant's requirements. If your restaurant is closed, what message do you want to see? This is what the system will give us as default. You can change it if you want. Next is source and available message. I'm not going to mess with any of this. And finally, service model settings. I want to open service model. When add to cart is clicked on, I will show you what this is later on in this tutorial. Then I'll go ahead and click on save changes. Next, I click on pickup service and make sure it is enabled. Pickup label is pickup, pickup time interval 30 minutes, and then minimum order amount is set to 99. Take note this 99 is in currency, so you decide whatever currency you are going to use. I'll show you how you can set that later in this tutorial. I'll leave the pickup time interval as 30 minutes and the minimum order amount I will change it to 10 which is the minimum order amount in my restaurant so far as pickup is concerned. What this also means is that I don't have any dish in my restaurant that will cost below $10 or 10 Ghana cities. So when this is done I click on save changes and finally I go to delivery service. Defaultly delivery service is not enabled so you go ahead and enable it delivery label i leave it as it is next is delivery time interval which is 30 minutes i don't mess with this and finally minimum order amount so what will be the minimum amount my clients will order before they will get a delivery service so i set this to 50 and i'll go ahead and click on save changes next is layout and styling first i have number of columns which i want to set to two i'm not going to hide bottom cards under utility tweaks, I'm going to make sure sticky categories is enabled and I'll also go ahead and enable show item count. Next is food item image. You can choose from medium, small or even hide the image completely. I'll leave it as it is for now. Enable lazy load. Item image will be loaded once you scroll to it and this will help load your items page faster. So I'll select this and finally enable pop up from title. So if this is enabled, pop-up can be opened by clicking on item title or image. So I'll enable it and I'll go ahead and click on save changes. Next, I click on customize. In here, I can go ahead and choose my styling colors. And I'm going to go ahead and use the colors of my website. So I'll open my website in a new tab so that I'll be able to grab my color from there. And this is the color I'm going to use. So I have a color picker right here. I'll just click on it. And I'll come in here and select my color. Perfect. Then I can exit from here. Just click here. And I'll go ahead and enter my color code. I'll do the same thing in here. Perfect. Then I'll go ahead and click on save changes. Next, I click on advanced. Under advanced, I'm not going to do any settings. So that's all about all the settings I want to do on full store. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add my dishes or my products. So to do that, I go over to products, then I click on add new. So to add my product, I'm going to go ahead and open my website in a new tab so that I will go to the menu page of my website from here. And this way, I'll get my various dishes. So I'll start with fufu with live soup. This is a local dish over here in Ghana. So I'll just go ahead and grab this. Then I come back to my product, enter my title right here. In here, I go ahead and enter my product description so I can grab something from here. This is just a dummy content. I enter it in here and I'll enter the same thing under short description like this. Going up is product data and I'm going to use simple product. In here, I enter the price of my dish. So I go back to the menu and this is the price 25. I come back in here, enter 25. If you have a sale price, you can go ahead and enter it. I'm not going to use sale price in this tutorial. Next is food options. In here, you can select the type of food you are offering. Is it a vegetarian or non-vegetarian? It is a vegetarian. Next is product categories. 
so how do i get my categories i go back to my menu so this is the first category fufu to zafi and then plantain and beans so take note categories can be breakfast lunch or dinner categories can also be cuisines pieces continental like chinese italian and many more so i'll go ahead and enter all my categories coming back here i click on add new category so i have fufu add new category next is true zafi add new category and finally plantain and beans add new category so these are the three categories i'm going to use on my food ordering system however i'll uncheck these two for now because the dish i'm adding is going to fall under fufu going down you can also add product tags but i'm not going to use any tags finally i go down and set my product image and i'll select my product image under media library and this is the image i'm going to use then i go ahead and set product image my image is set going up i click on publish my product is published and similarly i'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my dishes to my website so i'll do this pretty quick and get back to you all right i've added all my dishes and you can see all of them by going to all products now that that is done the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and customize my menu page and to do that i'm going to edit it with elementor then i go back to the back end of my website click on food store and i'll go ahead and grab my short code from here copy then i go back to my menu page which is opened with elementor and i'm going to go ahead and remove all these widgets so that i'll insert my short code so i exit from here 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 and here as well all right then i'll go ahead and insert a new section i click on the plus icon then i choose single column i go back to elements then i search for short code I have short code right here I drag it in here and I'll go ahead and paste my short code and I click on apply perfect at the moment the images are not showing don't worry they will show when we update I click on update I can preview the changes perfect sorry we are close now remember i set my shop to open at 6 30 and it's currently 6 17 a.m so i can go to fufu plantain and beans then to zafi awesome maybe i can add spacing at top and bottom so i go back to elementor i select the section advanced i align the values under pardon top i enter 50 in the bottom 50 and i'll go ahead and reduce the height of the banner so i select this and the layout i go over to height and i choose minimum height and i'll change it to 200 then i go to advanced then i remove bottom pattern and top pattern or maybe layout i can make it 300 i think 300 is cool also then i go ahead and update also this looks clean perfect now i want to add breakfast to my categories so i'll go ahead and do this pretty quick and get back to you all right i've added my breakfast category as you can see in here let's go ahead and set up woocommerce i go over to woocommerce then i click on settings and the general going down i choose selling locations and i'll sell to specific countries which is ghana then going down the currency i change it to ghana cities and i go ahead and click on save changes next i go over to shipping i'll add a shipping zone and the shipping zone is tamale or I'll just call it shipping that's the only shipping zone I have and I choose location 
going to be northern region alone then i'll go ahead and save the changes next i add a shipping method and i'll charge a flat fee so i click on add shipping method i edit it to set my rates it's not going to be taxable and i'll charge five cities and i save the changes next i go to payments and make sure cash on delivery is enabled i've already enabled mine i'm not going to cover automated payment gateways in this tutorial however if you want to add paypal payment gateway i'll link up a video in the description down below you can check it up and learn how to add paypal payment gateway next i go to accounts and privacy i want customers to be able to place orders without an account and i don't really want customers to create accounts on my website then i go ahead and save the changes next i go to emails here i'm going to do two things i'll add the header image as well as the base color so to get the header image i go over to media i'll open it in a new tab i select my logo copy it come back in here then i paste maybe build with woocommerce i can take it out and enter enjoy your meal and then the base color i'll just go ahead and enter my color in here perfect then i click on save changes and finally i go to advanced and in here you need to make sure that cart page you choose the cart page i have it here then check out access for checkout i have checkout here and finally my account perfect then i go down click on save changes so these are the settings i'm going to do on woocommerce now if i go back to the front end of my website and go over to menu you see that my currency is not changed to ghana cities it's still morning and i want to take some tea with bread and the pickup time will be eight as well as the delivery time i update i can increase the quantity if i want then i go ahead and click on add to cards this adding perfect i click on continue okay minimum order price delivery is 50 ghana cities meaning i have to add more meals maybe i can order fufu with live soup i add it up and i increase the quantity too because we are two add to cart and now i have 78 ghana cities i click on continue and now i'm redirected to the cart page perfect and it is automatically set to delivery because that is what i selected from the beginning then i'll go ahead and place my order perfect thank you your order has been received and as an administrator of the website i will receive an email with regards to this order and the client will also receive an email with regards to this order so this is the message i will receive as an administrator and you see that i have my logo up here because i added it under the woocommerce settings the next thing the next thing we are going to look at is how we can fulfill our orders to do that i come to woocommerce and i click on orders you see that this is the current order which is processing so i click on the name of the client so if the delivery is done and i accept my payment i'll come in here and i draw down the arrow under status then choose completed and i go ahead and update and with this a client will receive a new message indicating that the order is being completed so that's it on how to make a restaurant food ordering system in wordpress i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos keep watching and i'll see you in the next one